So what's going on guys, it is JM, it is Speedboxing, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel before you click on 20 of my videos. Also comment below in the comment section if you guys have any opinions on what I'm saying in any of my videos. It really is appreciated if you guys could drop me a quick sub or two on my channel. So, on July 29th it's finally been confirmed that former 4 weight world champion Adrian The Problem Bruno will take on current WBC lightweight champion and free weight world champion Mikey Garcia in a big showdown. I don't know where the fight is going to be at, I don't think they've confirmed where the fight is going to be at yet, but I'm thinking it could probably be in New York, at the Barclays Centre. And yeah, this is a very good fight, it's a very random fight in my opinion, I wasn't really expecting this fight, but it is a good fight, apparently neither guy hesitated when asked if they wanted this fight, so that's a good sign that these two really want to get it on, on July 29th, so yeah, you got Adrian Bruno trying to come back down to 140 pounds because this fight will be at 140 pounds Michael Garcia will step up in weight but Adrian Broner hasn't made 140 pounds since he won the world title at 140 pounds against Alec Averdiev. after that he tried to defend the title against Ashley Fiafane but lost the title on the scales and then he's had one fight since against Adrian Granados and that was at World 08 so it'll be interesting to see how Adrian Broner gets on in trying to make 140 pounds because he says he struggled to make £140 in the past because he was coming in at £183 at the start of training camp and he was struggling to get the weight off but he says right now he's in the high 150s actually I think he said he's in the low 150s so he says he could make £140 very easily and you got Mikey Garcia coming up in weight it'll be interesting to see how Mikey Garcia gets on at £140 We've seen him at 135 pounds. I think he looks devastating at lightweight. So it'll be interesting to see how he gets on at super lightweight. The actual fight itself, right? You've got Adrian Broner. Adrian Broner is the kind of fighter who likes stationary targets. He's one of these guys who likes the guy to stand with him, and so he can get his shots off and he can hit the counter punches. He has got fast hands, Adrian Broner. He hasn't got particularly good feet, though. Adrian Broner. He's very flat footed, and. He does hit quite hard, Adrian Broner, but he's one of these guys you likes to admire his work a little bit too much in there, Adrian Broner, and that could be a problem against somebody like Mikey Garcia. Because Mikey Garcia is a good fundamental boxer, like he's one of these guys, he's got a very old school throwback -y style, like what he does is very textbook, Mikey Garcia, it's not slick, it's not technical or anything like that, it's very textbook. And he's one of these guys, he's... He's in there, he's not a pressure fighter, but he's one of these guys who'll put progressive pressure on you throughout the fight. Like, he'll just put a little bit more on as the round goes on, like, step it up a little bit more, you know what I mean? And guys start making mistakes, and then Mikey Garcia reads that, and that's when he tends to attack. And he's very good at doing that, Mikey Garcia. He's got a similar style to um, an Alex Aguilo from the early 1980s. He's got a similar style to him, and he's one of these guys comes in with a high guard, elbows tucked, and when you punch him, Mikey Garcia, because he's got this tight high guard, you got to like punch through the gloves, because if you try and punch around the guard, Mikey Garcia is going to punch through your arms, and because he hits very accurate, he could finish you off or he could hurt you. So Mikey Garcia is a guy who's very hard to hit clean. Like I've never seen Mikey Garcia seriously hurt in a fight or anything like that. And at the moment, Mikey Garcia is looking very devastating. But Adrian Broner, he really needs this fight. And he really needs to win this fight. Because if he wins this fight, he gets his career back on track. Because if he beats somebody like Mikey Garcia, that's a statement from Adrian Broner. And he could have the super fights against somebody like Terence Crawford or Manny Pacquiao if he defeats Mikey Garcia. And Mikey Garcia, Mikey Garcia missed two years of his career, obviously, we all know because of the situation he had with Top Rank. He's 29 years old now, Mikey Garcia. And he's just trying to make up for lost time. He's just trying to go through the weight classes, trying to pick up world titles. Michael Garcia is one of these guys. He's not going to sit and defend his title 10 times. He just wants to try and fight the best. And if that means moving up in weight or dropping a title, he'll do that because he just wants to be seen as one of the best in the world, Mikey Garcia. And, yeah, this is a very good fight. Like, I'm... Slightly, well not slightly, I'm picking Mikey Garcia to defeat Adrian Brown. I just think Mikey Garcia has taken his career more seriously. Even though he was off for two years, but it just didn't look like he's been off for two years. Like, usually you see guys with ring rules. Mikey Garcia has no ring rules. That's probably, I think, because his brother, Robert Garcia, who is a well-known trainer, has his own gym and stuff like that. 
So Mikey Garcia's just been taking over in the gym, helping Robert Garcia with sparring for his fighters and stuff like that. And he's just been taking over Mikey Garcia, honing his craft. Where you've got Adrian Brown on the other hand, who's been an active, who's out drinking and partying and getting into trouble with the law. Don't get me wrong, Adrian Broner is a good fighter on his A game. And I think if he can make £140 and look well at £140, it could be a problem for somebody in the £140 division. But I'm picking Mikey Garcia. I just see Mikey Garcia as just the better fighter all round. Like, I think Mikey Garcia has just got enough tools to deal with somebody like Adrian Broner, who scraped his last fight against somebody like Adrian Granados, who, compared to Mikey Garcia, is just... Mikey Garcia is just on a different level to somebody like Adrian Granados, so... I'm just picking Mikey Garcia at the minute because I think he's looking better and better as each fight goes on. But Styles make fights at the end of the day. Adrian Broner is the naturally bigger guy and he could try to use that as his advantage against Mikey Garcia. But Mikey Garcia's punching power could be a big factor because even though he fights at lightweight, Mikey Garcia, guys are saying that Mikey Garcia hits like a middleweight. This is what guys are saying who are spoiled with Mikey Garcia. These guys who have sparred with Mikey Garcia, who have sparred with Canelo Alvarez in the past and say that Mikey Garcia hits harder than Canelo Alvarez. Like, that's crazy to think about. Brandon Rios, we all know, very tough guy. He's got a very good chin, he can take shots all night, Brandon Rios, but he says when he gets in there with Mikey Garcia, he says it's probably the hardest he's ever been hit. So Mikey Garcia is a very deadly puncher. And Adrian Broner, I just don't see him being elusive enough to deal with somebody like Mikey Garcia because he wasn't elusive enough for somebody like Marcus Maidana and I think Mikey Garcia is a better fighter than Marcus Maidana I think he's better with his shots and stuff like that he's going to think about what he throws before he throws it and he's going to try and make Adrian Broner make a mistake and then he's going to jump on that mistake so yeah this is just my prediction of this fight I'm going to go with Mikey Garcia to defeat Adrian Broner, but this is a very good fight and it's a good fight for the summer. Comment below in the comment section, what do you think of this? Do you think Mikey Garcia is going to win? Do you think it's going to be an easy fight? Do you think Adrian Broner has got a big performance left in him? So yeah, comment below in the comment section. It's